Hello beautiful kindred souls and welcome to my spiritual oasis. Here weary souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. Today we are doing a Soulful 7 reading. Um, I'm just really feeling connected and grounded today. I don't have any particular questions for Spirit today. Just really channeling any messages that Spirit has to share with you. So we do have three groups um, kind of prepared. <laughs> um, I just have um, kind of divided my Animal Spirit Oracle deck into three different groups and we'll be shuffling out on camera. Um, yeah, just feeling super intuitive and connected today. So everything's going to be intuitive. Everything's going to be whatever spirit wants it to be today. <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're doing today. So before we get into uh, the readings, I did want to invite you to join the Kindred family by subscribing to my YouTube channel here. Uh, click a like and uh, drop a comment down below if something resonates with you. Let me know which group you selected and any messages that um, you will be taking with you today. So the groups are as follows. So on the far left here, we have group one, in the middle is group two, and we have group three on the far right. And we have a couple of decks, just kind of whatever I'm feeling is uh, where we're gonna go with it. So again, our messages are primarily being guided by our animal spirits today. So I'm really excited to get into the readings. Pause the video at this point if you need a moment to meditate on which group or groups has your message in it. These are general readings. So, so your unique message might be a combination of groups. So if you are being pulled to more than one group, go ahead and watch um, both or all and um, take the messages that resonate with you. All right, beautiful soul, pause the video. Otherwise, we're gonna get right into the readings. Hello, group number one, and welcome to your Soulful 7 reading. Again, we're just channeling whatever messages that spirit has for you, um, guided by our animal spirits today. So let's see what guiding energy we have. Okay, so we have the eagle spirit. Mm. I love that this is the first message. The first message that Spirit wants to communicate with you today is that Spirit has your back. Uh, when we look at the Eagle Spirit here, there is this majestic sort of energy. Um, we have bird energy, feels very airy. Um, and I always like to connect air energy with um, as a conduit between the physical world and the spiritual world because air energy does represent communication and it's communication between what we want and or need um, in our physical like earthen journey if you will um, to our spiritual life and that eternal part of ourselves that has manifested many times potentially in this life and in other lives or in this realm and and or in other realms um, with us. Um, air energy is also connected to our throat chakra energy. Um, and again, the throat is the connection between your body and your head, your mind. So again, that connection between um, entities, uh, playing a, a, a conduit, if you will, and often the pinch point in some of you know some things like manifesting our dreams and manifesting the lives that we want. Um, also, often happens. Um, I should say, we have difficulty manifesting what we desire potentially because of how we are communicating with ourselves and of course with spirit and um, you know spirit has our back spirit supports us but we have to guide spirit and we have to input what we want to get out in order to get out what we want if that made any sense at all. So for example, focusing on the things that you want, focusing on the things that you want to see come to fruition rather than dwelling on the negative energies. And then I also want to point out that 
Our number 23 here reduces down to the number five, and the number five is all about adventure and exploration. There's a very outgoing and energetic, almost like a quirky energy connected with, with five energy as well. Um, but it does feel like a very divine masculine, outwardly expressive energy as well as air. And I just feel like eagle energy is, you know, because it's connected to air energy, which is divine masculine energy, um, it feels very, it feels like movement and action. Um, and then I also wanted to point out, because it keeps calling my attention, the, the eagle eye or this idea of bird's eye view. Seeing things from a broader perspective gives you clarity. And I feel like that's a message from spirit as well as spirit saying, you know, spirit, the universe looks at us from that higher perspective, that higher point of view. And therefore, it gives us a broader um, or I should say, is able to see a broader um, purpose and intent for us and um, to see our lives from that higher perspective gives, gives more clarity. And I feel like that's a message that Spirit is sharing with you saying sometimes you have to zoom out, especially if you're the type of person that is more detail oriented or you just naturally kind of fall into um the details and the nitty-gritty and and you're just you just zoom in microscopically and you kind of miss the forest for the trees if you will um okay and then we have chameleon spirit act as if i love that <laughs> and it's five energy as well by the way a number 14 reduces down to the number five the reason why I laughed was because um, it immediately this card reminded me of my sister. <laughs> Most of our lives, you know, our parents have kind of, you know, kind of messed with her about like, um, they call it perpetrating or basically, you know, she'll act as if she is a singer dancer she knows the words to something or she could speak for a long time she was trying to convince us she could speak russian but we're like yeah no you like google three words that does not make you fluent in russian <laughs> but i think the whole idea here is that when it comes to manifesting the life that you want when it comes to um claiming your blessings um Act as if you've already made it. Act as if you are already a boss. Act as if your business is already successful. Act as if, you know, you know, you are the CEO if that's your goal or whatever. Um, you know, if if you are a, you know, if your goal is to be a, you know, an artist or to live off of your work, act as if you already do that. What, how would life be? Imagine what life would be if what you desired was true because it is and the only thing that's holding or that's keeping you from witnessing that truth is time and that's just simply because time has to catch up with reality so i love this idea of acting as if and calling attention to this this act um as an action verb it requires you to take a leap of faith. It requires you to step out on faith. Like, yes, you know, I am already um, a wife or I am already a mother or I am already a, you know, business owner, whatever it is, right, that you desire, whatever's on your heart um, and what whatever you want in life. And again, that five energy, right? robust outwardly expressive action oriented so to me that there's a strong message around doing what you desire doing what you want to see come to life and come to fruition taking action on those beliefs and that is what is going to um you know it'll it'll catch up with you that that energy will catch up with with you and then we have grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. Did I not literally just say something about taking a leap of faith? <laughs> I think I did. So 
just reiterating that idea um, of taking a leap of faith by acting as if um, and knowing that you act as if and you take that leap of faith because you know that spirit has your back. You know that spirit is listening, that hears your, your desires and your wishes, and you believe that spirit is going to um, bring to life those things that you want um, in your world. You know, you, 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 faith is the belief in things unseen and spiritual energy is all about the unseen. You don't see it working, though you see the results when it manifests, when it fruits, um, when that sprout pops out of the ground, you believe that seeds can grow into plants. Um, it's hard to believe, but if you never plant the seed, it will never, you'll never see it fruit if that makes any sense so you have to you have to take that leap of faith first before um you will see the your faith come to fruition you have to act you have to do before you will prove if you will that your faith was well placed okay so we have the knight of shells So the Knight of Shells, so Knight energy is air energy naturally. And I know that there is debate in the community <laughs> about Knight versus um, King energy. But my belief is that for many reasons is that Knight energy is air energy. Um, and so that air energy talks about communication. And as we know, in traditional Rider Waite tarot, the knights are on horses and they travel. They suggest movement and messages and they are messengers and they bring messages outside of the kingdom to other kingdoms um, as they are in their knight attire, meaning they have their protective gear on they're able to take on anything that the world has to throw at them okay so I feel like there's a bit of um, action required which we've already kind of spoke about in our five energy as well as the air energy associated with the eagle and the act as if energy and even this idea of leaping right that's an action it's a very bold action and I feel like you're being called in general to take bold steps towards the things that matter to you, the things that you care about. And I also see here in the Knight of Shells that, sh that shell energy, right? That water energy. So there's like an air water sort of combination here. Um, you know, water energy is connected to creativity. It's connected to um, our emotions, love, romance even. Um, but I feel like from a from a, a spirituality from a deeper perspective to me it's talking about um you know either bringing messages of you know connected to spirituality and love and emotional energy but i also feel like there's a strong message for you to let down your guard right because night energies they have their um armor can't think of the word <laughs> um knights have their armor for protection and um there's kind of a, a message around letting down your guard and allowing that kind of soft divine feminine energy that shell energy that water energy to be shown through creative through creativity um through emotive expression however that looks like for you and there's also messages around charm and passion and um, I feel like you're being called to pursue your passions act as if whatever that passion is is already you know alive in your life and is successful and fruitful in your life what will life be like be like if it were 
I feel like there's imaginative energy as well with the shells and just um, an enjoyment of life as well. So the night energy is naturally uncomfortable in this position of shells because, um, you know, there's there's a desire for our night of shells to, to put down his armor, her armor, and show that creative side and enjoy life almost feels like like venus energy like enjoying the beauty of life enjoying you know uh, creative expressions either from yourself or from the world and community around you um, whether that be theater or dance or singing or opera or whatever um it feels like there, there wants to be an emotional connection but there is something standing in your way so i would I would kind of take a look at that as well. Is there something standing in your way of emotional expression? And speaking of emotional expression, we have the moon showing up in our beautiful owl energy here. Look at how intense the eyes are. Um, we have more bird imagery in our message for you, group one. But I feel like the owl is just screaming um, intelligence and perception and wisdom. Um, the moon energy also talks about imagination and um, intuitive understanding. It's connected to cancer energy, which is connected to water energy. Um, and uh, I feel like there's a, um, it's almost like digging deeper inside of yourself to learn the truth and trusting your intuition and trusting your powers of discernment and knowing and understanding that your perception and ability to see and know without logic and reason is just as accurate and valuable as any other type, you know, than your mental state, your mind. Um, and I feel like there's also a call to imagination, which we also talked about in the shells energy, which I feel like is connected to the chameleon energy as well. Um, ooh, okay. Threw down a pile, but only one flipped. So let's see. Ooh, the star, I love it. More bird imagery, by the way. <laughs> the birds are speaking to you. The flamingo as well, lots of bird imagery. Um, the star, I love this. The star is about healing, which I think is interesting because we talked about the Knight of Shells maybe speaking to some sort of emo, like um, letting down your armor, letting down your guard. And I feel like the guard is up because there, ne there needs to be some sort of healing happening. Um, and so in the star, I do see a call to peace by healing. So healing your heart space, um, addressing the things in your life maybe that that have come up you know i feel like there's something blocking your blessings right now especially if you're trying to manifest and for whatever reason you're struggling to you're having challenges doing so i feel like there's a message around healing that's going to help you manifest what you desire in your life and i feel like part of that um healing is going to come from you believing that there is something better for you out there that spirit has your back you can truly trust the universe and spirit to call forth that which you have already proclaimed so if you aren't proclaiming anything or you're not proclaiming what you want or desire or there there might be some blocks some some blockages keeping you from getting to the place that you want in your um in your life so let's see what additional messages or final messages we have ha so we had the wind chimes which talk about peace and harmony this is definitely connected to our star energy over here again peace um peace healing harmony i'm getting um i'm seeing here heart chakra healing um if you've had difficulties or challenges trusting um maybe from past relationships or how you were raised oh my gosh and we had the star pop out 
um, which spirit wants you to know that guarantees success here with that star energy there. We also have the star coming here. Um, I feel like there's messages around light and dark places. The moon energy suggests like nighttime and darkness. Um, and, it, and a focus on your internal and emotional spaces. And that star is suggesting that guarantees success. Oh my gosh, I can't keep my life right. Uh, we have the tankard, which talks about celebration, fun, and enjoyment. I feel like that's that's coming out of you taking a leap of faith and believing in spirit, believing in your ability to um, manifest the life that you want. that all of these beautiful things are coming to you once you once you settle in and find a place of peace when you when you act upon your dreams it will settle your heart space quill suggests uh, getting back to the basics here back to faith back to peace and healing harmony passion imagination i feel like getting back to the basics of who you are too and being authentic to yourself it's also a message here. And then uh, we have the egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Okay. So really beautiful um, messages here for you today, group number one. And I feel like there was a lot of triangulation, um, especially when we got to our tea leaves here. This idea of success and celebration, peace, star energy is magnified. I feel like nighttime energy dealing with and connecting to yourself on a deeper emotional level, getting in that healing, channeling um, your creative energy and expression, and um, getting back to the basics of who you are and your unique, um, your unique energy and unique um, position and and take on the world, doing things that are fulfilling to you, doing things that matter to you. Um, taking action on what you want and what you desire and what you're passionate about in your life. So group number one, these are the messages that I have channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful for you. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below and let me know it did. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if we're not already connected here on YouTube. And if you're interested in your own personal reading, you can connect with me on Etsy. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for your time and energy, and I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello, group number two, and welcome to your Soulful 7 reading. We didn't have a specific question for Spirit. We're really just allowing Spirit to guide the messages um, through our Oracle and Tarot cards here. So let's see what your guiding energy is today. So we have Coyote Spirit. Trust in Divine Detours very interesting so the first messages that I am receiving for you today group two is this idea that your life either has or will in the very near future take a turn that you weren't expecting and I feel like for some of you this might be kind of a warning from spirit saying well, things are going to twist and turn a bit that you're not expecting um, that life is going to take some unexpected twists and turns but it's for the best that in the end things are going to end up exactly how they should be and you have to take these detours and twists and turns in order to learn something from them there is something here there is something in that detour that spirit wants you to pay attention to and so um and even if it's a challenging detour, I feel like spirit is saying, don't focus on that. Don't dwell in that. Discover the lesson that is, is, is attempting to be shared with you because that is going to truly give you the direction that you need in order 
Um, it's going to give you the information, the knowledge, the wisdom for you to do something that's on the other side of that detour, potentially even something that you're heading for now, but you're going to have to go through this detour in order to get something that you need um, to discover that. So, um, and then for some of you, I feel like you're already in the detour and I feel like uh, spirit is saying, again, don't dwell on the, the, the challenge itself, discover the lesson. What are you meant to be gaining out of this? What are you learning about yourself? Is it good? Is it positive? Is it low vibration or is it high vibration? And what can you take, um, what can you take out the other end of this uh, situation? So we also have cow spirit, which I think is great. The miracles are endless is what cow spirit suggests. There is six energy that is connected to cow spirit, which talks about love. And um, I just feel like spirit is sharing with you that even in these detours and these challenges and difficulties, there there's going to be a miracle that happens. There's going to be, and I feel like it's more so in a position of uh, like love and and inner love and internal understanding i feel like you're going to learn something profound about yourself that's what i'm really feeling something that um may be difficult to acknowledge but once you acknowledge it and you move past the low vibrational manifestation of it it's going to turn and you're going to see some really positive high vibration big energy that's going to come from it so keep an eye out for for that um and then we have the electric eel spirit here. So I feel like it, there's going to be an aha moment that happens in all of all of this. In this detour somewhere, there's going to be an aha moment. And I feel like for some of you, it could definitely be that spark, that idea that you were waiting for. You've kind of been living life, maybe following, you know, some kind of a path, but it's been it's not been completely fulfilling. There's been something kind of missing, but you haven't been able to put your hand on it quite. And I feel like, you know, in this time of question marks, you're going to be raising your eyebrows and be like, why am I here? How did I get here? What's going on? I feel like this, uh, the electric ill spirit is going to, to shock in that idea. It feels like uh, ace of swords energy that idea that just kind of comes out of nowhere and you're like oh like when all of the all of the um the, the synapses start to fire at the same time and make that and make connections here there's a very strong water elemental energy in this in this card as well all i don't know if you can see it i'm trying to all of the whooshes and the whirls and the swirls. So it does feel like this very tumultuous, but there's also electricity. So I feel like it's a fire water combination, which mm, fire and <laughs> fire and water, you know, electricity and water don't necessarily in a natural sense go together, but water is a conduit for electricity. So I feel like there's going to be emotional energy and mind space energy as well as some sort of fire and passion there's just going to be a connection of things like a few things that may have seemed to be completely distant will find harmony together and it will just make sense it will just come together and you'll be like wow how did i not see this before and then i also wanted to point out that our electric ill spirit is also um you know that 24 reduces down to the number six so we have more six energy presence um in your reading as well so i just feel like if that's going to to be meaningful to you um as we as we move forward here with our energies that love and potentially romance potentially um just in general, I feel like having a deep emotional connection to whatever this is or whomever this is. 
So we have the page of shells, more shells, more water. Um, and we have um, our page of shells is, our pages are earth and we're blending earth and water together. So it's very divine, feminine, inwardly strong um, energy connected to um, intuitive energy and inspiration. Um, our page of shells is a youthful energy. Um, it could represent a person with strong water sign placements in their charts, sun and rising Venus in a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, page of shells could also be energy that spirit is asking you to connect with and channel. Um, so tapping into a more youthful, explorative energy. And that could be what this detour is about, you know, especially if you find yourself living a life that is very controlled and, um, you know, uh, planned out that this page energy, again, is young, it's youthful, explorative. There's a curiosity to the page energy that also a, a desire to manifest things in a physical or tactile way. Um, so like the time of thinking is coming to an end and time of action um, and a time of manifestation is, 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 is um, taking, taking form. And um, again, that shell's energy is water energy. It's creativity, it's spirituality, it's love, potentially romance, but love in all of its shapes and forms, including the love of doing things that you, you know, doing things that you love. Um, and um, there's inspiration and uh, intu intuition that's also connected to it. So I feel like there's a message around following your intuition, especially if you're in a state or a place of kind of investigating and figuring out maybe how you want to express yourself creatively. Um, following your intuition and following your gut and um, allowing yourself to explore, I feel like is a huge message here that it doesn't matter your age it doesn't matter where you are in your life that in um embracing this youthful sort of curious page energy is um really important and that could be why spirit is sending you on a detour especially if you've been denying or rejecting that part of yourself so we do have the chariot showing up here and message around discipline and determination. Um, you know, ideas, inspiration, you know, even divine intervention and miracles and things like that can only take you so far. Ideas can only take you so far. What brings you to the finish line is discipline, determination, this ability to um, be consistent and persistent, that very earthen, earthy sort of uh, grounded energy and um, charging forth and, um, you know, just, just charging forth to life, through life, into life, into what you're passionate about, into what you desire, not just holding it in your heart or in your head, but making it tangible. And I feel like that's also what the page of ener page energy is also uh, suggesting here, this idea of a tangible manifestation of your heart and passion and desires. And then we have the nine of shells. So our nine of shells is a very, um, uh, deep flowing sort of energy we're connected here we're talking about fulfillment and gratitude and uh, I feel like it's just a I feel like there's a strong message here in the nine of shells about it's almost like a little bit of a, of, of a, a taste of what life has in store for you and I feel like especially uh, as you navigate this detour right and it might be confusing at first as to like what in the world am I I'm completely off track you know there might be some even some anxiety around it but I feel like there's a really strong message around um, um, 
getting a getting a bit of a taste of 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 prosperous and abundant emotional support and i feel like that's also the message here in the staff you'll be taken care of in difficult times I feel like that's connected to, and like I said, I feel like this detour is going to be very life-changing. We've got miracles. We're talking about aha moments. Um, yeah, so the more we get into this reading, the more I'm feeling like this detour is absolutely necessary. And I feel like spirit, first and foremost, <laughs> asking that you trust in the universe and you trust in this detour and you trust um, in, in the abundance of energy that is going to manifest in this way again this very unexpected way is important um so we have grasshopper spirit energy showing up situations in the balance that require careful handling and i feel like this detour also suggests that yes there's there are situations that are in the balance and they do require some careful handling it, it, it we're going to be kind of navigating some interesting spaces and places i'm feeling here we have the parrot someone will gossip about you and your all your secrets so be careful who you tell your uh business to i feel like that and i feel like also as you're going on this journey just being mindful of what you say to people because sometimes we aren't ready to hear what people have to say about what we tell them. So sometimes we have to like get to a, a safe space or a good space before we share because then we're ready for any sort of um, commentary. And we have this seahorse here, which suggests that there might be some familial um, matters going on. Um, so... I'm getting for some of you, this feels very specific. There might be a birth of some kind, an unexpected birth, uh, an unexpected, um, yeah, I'm getting a birth of some sort. Maybe someone is, is, but it's like a joyous, a joyous birth. I'm getting the message here that somebody wants to grow their family and hasn't been able to, and there's gonna be some sort of unexpected but joyous birth of some kind. That felt extraordinarily specific, so if it's not resonating, that is okay. And then we have the cracked cup. So this dissatisfaction with life, I feel like it's connected to this detour. I feel like you're gonna be thrust into this detour situation that you're not emotionally ready for you're not really prepared for it it's going to feel like you're taking steps backwards when you want to take step forward you're going to fight it potentially and um be irritated or frustrated um it could the detour could also manifest in the form of just like delays um for example if you had like a job offer or something you're planning to move and there were delays like that totally happened to me last year but that's fine it worked out even better than i could have imagined um the detour that that delay so um that's just a side note message for you um yeah and i just feel like this set this is gonna feel like a setback at first but when you release the low vibrational energy that you're feeling or the disappointment that you're feeling, there are going to be a lot of really positive things that come out of this, including some really clear direction on where you want to go with your life and discovering what you truly desire and truly want um, in this life. So group number two, these are the messages that I have channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful for you. If something did resonate, please do drop a comment down below and let me know what did. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not already connected here on YouTube. If you're interested in your own personal reading, you can connect with me on Etsy. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for your time and energy, and I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye. Hello group number three and welcome to your Soulful 7 reading. 
Again, we don't have any specific questions for spirit today. We are just shuffling out the cards and I am channeling messages that are meant for you today. Um, take whatever resonates with you as this is a general reading. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into the reading here. All right, so our guiding energy is Fox Spirit. I swear, Fox Spirit comes up every time I touch this deck. <laughs> All right, so Fox Spirit is talking about thinking on your feet. So the initial messages that I'm getting here is that you might have a well-laid plan and you are, you know, expecting to execute on it but life always has a way of having its way okay so you might be entering into a situation where you're gonna have to think on your feet you're gonna have to be flexible and willing to pivot or change or twist or turn or tap into resources and just this idea of being agile and being um uh, patience and perceptive are foxes the fox energy is very foxes are very they're planners and they're patient and they pay attention you it, it's hard to think on your feet if you're not paying attention to what's going on around you okay so I just feel like there's a strong message around paying attention to your surroundings and the situation and or situations that you're in so that you can pivot and change and be agile and mutable and flexible. And so we have the canary spirits, which, um, you know, the message that I'm getting out of the canary spirit is this idea of being authentic to you and having your own authentic voice. So sing your own song is the message connected to canary spirit, but I feel like there's um, an authenticity of voice and I feel like there's, you know, um, Spirit is just saying that your voice is unique. Your form of communication is unique. What you have to say or how you think or how you translate or interpret the world around you is unique and your voice needs to be heard. Especially for those of you who have stayed silent potentially most of your life or you kind of just bite your tongue or you don't say anything. I feel like Spirit is saying now is the time that you've stayed silent or you've developed your perspective and your point of view long enough, it's time for your voice to be heard. I feel like this could also be literally talking about singing, that if that resonates with you, if singing is a part of your soul, your spirit, I feel like you're being strongly encouraged to tap into singing as a, a form of expression and expressing yourself. And I feel like the more you express yourself and the more you connect to your heart's desire and what you truly want out of life, that the, the things that you want to manifest in your life are going to start coming to fruition um, for you. And then we have the hummingbird spirit. Be here and now is what the hummingbird spirit suggests. And I think it's very interesting that we have two bird energies present and not just two birds, but two kind of more petite birds. A little there's just seems like there's a lot of energy, like high energy around um, action and, you know, being a little bit um, trying to think about how to put this being a little um scrappy yeah i'm um being a little bit scrappy meaning that you're not just rolling over you're not just taking it you are you know standing your ground and you know letting your light shine if you will and not allowing others to snuff you out you know being a little scrappy you know kick back a little bit um but there's a strong message here in the hummingbird about being present. And I also note that all of our numbers here reduce down to odd numbers. And odd numbers are just, you know, they're a little off, a little odd. There's, there is there is a um, dynamic energy to them, an action-oriented energy, a suggestion of a divine masculine energy because our even numbers are more subdued and grounded uh, energies. So I feel like there's 
and I'm also feeling that in the energy I'm channeling to this very expressive and sort of energetic um, pursuit in a way of um, of what you're after in life. Um, I feel like there's a socializing or social aspect or traveling or some sort of movement and connection with other people. With the birds, communication seems to be very strong. Um, So, and though, and though our fox is not a bird, right, there is still something, you know, because foxes are, are often smaller, they're carnivores, but they're smaller, and so they have to be a little bit more creative, because um, they have to watch their back from getting eaten by their predators, but they also are a predator, um, so I feel like there, there's a requirement for you know, being more agile, a little bit more scrappy and, 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 and things like that from that fox's perspective as well. So that energy is just very live and present for you, group three. So we have uh, transformation. So this is the death card in this uh, deck. And I love the death card in this deck called transformation. It's really just talking about a transition. So again, I mentioned Potentially in your life, you were maybe a little bit more quiet, a little bit more subdued. You would let a lot of things kind of slide. And I feel like, you know, we're transitioning into another phase of life where we are advocating for ourselves. We're speaking out. We are going after that job that we, you know, we're, we're not 100% qualified for. But you know what? We check a lot of the boxes and it's something that we're really passionate about. We're going after the things that we want and we're being a little bit scrappy about it. And <laughs> we are putting our foot down and we're taking actions toward the things that matter most about our, uh, most about uh, um, things that matter most to us in our lives. And we are voicing our opinions about things um, and um, just being a little bit more wily and a little bit more scrappy. I don't know, just the word scrappy just keeps coming to mind and it seems to be a good definition there's going to be a lot of liberating energy here and you know death talks about change it talks about transformation and transition but death is always the number 13 in tarot and it always reduces down to the number four and the number four in numerology is that grounded consistent persistent energy and I feel like death is connected to four and it makes complete sense because death is guaranteed. Change is the only thing that is guaranteed. And so I feel like in general, just um, grounding yourself in that change, embracing that change and allowing that change to um, to run its course and, and do what it has to do and, and not resisting too much uh that that necessary change that's coming and also to note that that death or transformation brings about change in a very paced way it's not abrupt it's paced you know it happens in steps we're moving from one thing to the next we're coming to the ending of this chapter this chapter will end we put a period on it we turn the page we write the name the title of the next chapter and then we move into the next chapter right there are steps is paced and consistent okay um so just bearing that in mind as well and then we have the two of shells so i feel like there's a strong message here around union and harmony and that um it could be talking about romantic love and maybe that's the new phase of your life love um, will be a part of that new phase in your life and I feel like advocating for yourself and taking a strong stance in who you are strengthening that solar plexus chakra and going into life um, with with confidence and self, strong self-esteem and self-respect and all those different self items is going to attract a love in your life or strengthen a love if you're already in a relationship um, that you have in your life but you know, it, this doesn't necessarily have to be talking about romantic love. It could just talk about a mutually beneficial relationship that you're going to enter into. So it could be just a really strong friendship as well if the love thing ain't vibing with you right now. But I also feel like the two of shells, like outside of two entities, it could be talking about harmony within yourself, where say your mind and your heart are in alignment 
where you know what you desire what you're passionate about that's what you're taking action on um maybe your work and what you do in your work or your job is in alignment with your heart path and purpose you know so it could be harmony just in general within yourself and you finding peace and harmony and balance and togetherness inside of you so i feel like there there are a number of different ways to interpret our two two of shells but just i feel like emotional um harmony and um just an overall feeling of being connected and sound and grounded and we have the nine of shells okay nine of shells talks nine of shells again emotional fulfillment and gratitude and um just that, that strong emotional energy having a a grounding and um a really just like feels happy feels happy feels excuse me satisfied and harmonious so i feel like in general this change whatever this change is is going to be for the best for you um, even though it's going to be uncomfortable at first, especially if you're not used to the very vocal and communicative energy that I'm feeling right now from this reading. If you're not used to that, then this is going to be a challenge for you, but it's going to be, it's going to have great outcomes. So we do have scales. So keep your life in balance is going to be potentially a challenge that we run into, but there's lots of messages around harmony here and graciousness and gratitude and um, um, this desire to keep things balanced is, is going to be potentially a, a challenge that you're going to have to address. And then we have the teapot. So deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So that could be, like I said, the two of shells could be talking about a friendship. So that could be just reiterating that or calling attention to that. Um, keep your life in balance. Especially if you're an extreme personality. So we have the broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I feel like in general, this is talking about, you know, especially if you're doing something you're not used to doing. If you're not used to advocating for yourself and speaking out and coming and living your life from a place of confidence and shamelessness, that there, I feel like there's going to be a transition period that's going to be kind of difficult for you to... Um, acclimate to it first but I feel like overall there's going to be a positive outcome and just know that transformation in transformation there is a suggestion of transition because there that's one of the key words transition but you're moving it's an active thing that is happening it's not something that's just gonna all of a sudden pop up and and be you wake up and you're you know you're completely different the next day it's going to be a gradual thing that happens over time so my beautiful soul these are the messages that i have channeled for you today if something resonated with you please do drop a comment down below and let me know what did click like and subscribe to my youtube channel if we are not already connected here on youtube if you are interested in your own personal reading, whether that be a Soulful 7 reading or any other type of reading, you can connect with me on Etsy. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for your time and energy, and I will see you in an upcoming reading. 